So the rapper Jeezy is going through a divorce. He's divorcing Jeannie Mai, uh, Asian Vietnamese chick. They're both uh, celebrities. She's from California. She's from Northern California, I believe. I've never been there before. I'm from Southern California. And uh, he's African American from the South. And I'm just gonna say it like this. Blacks and Asians are totally different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're like two different ships selling by, passing each other. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I have to say, I've had a lot of off-putting uh, scenarios with Asians over the years going into their stores in Southern California. Um, they just have this natural coldness to blacks. I mean, they make it obvious too. It could have been a black dude that robbed this store, but every black person that come into their fucking store, they're gonna treat like garbage. You know what I'm saying? The energy is off and shit. So blacks and Asians, we just don't blend well together. And I've had two Asian girlfriends. The first one was Vietnamese and Cambodian mix. That's the one that got the abortion uh, when I was 19, 18 and a half. Um, and the second one I was with, I was with her for six years she was Vietnamese. She graduated from Cal State University in Long Beach. She got a bachelor's in science and nursing. And we had to hide our relationship. She was living with me for six years. Had her, and she had her parents that lived in Fountain Valley, which is Orange County, believing that she was still roommating with uh, other Asian girls and shit. <laughs> but when they busted us, man, she just broke up with me by text message. And she was one of my favorite girlfriends. She treated me well. She wasn't no slut. She wasn't no hoe. She looked out for me. You know what I'm saying? But um, with them, I try to hold on to scenarios that were positive. Like I remember me, my brother, and my mom, my dad was at work, and we went to the Compton swap meet. And I remember... A Asian lady that was Vietnamese in there she looked at me and my twin brother and said to my mom you have handsome American boys like that I'll always remember that how nice she treated us because most of the times Asians they treat you like get your shit get out of my store give me your money they'll take black people's money but they'll treat you like crap their energy and shit they're so cold you know what I'm saying it's just they just naturally blend better with whites to me so that's why I, and then for years after those two breakups I continued with my uh, Asian persuasion I continued dating Asian girls but I took more of a liking to white girls because the sex was the best with white girls <laughs> even though the Asian girls pussies were a lot tighter but you know I'm, I, I'll always pick a white girl over an Asian girl that's just me shit I'll pick a half breed a black and white mixed girl over an Asian girl because I want a tall kid <laughs> you know what I'm saying and I don't want no Asian woman that has a round ass head like I like skinny sleek head women you know I like the facial structure and the skull show uh, the skull shape of a white girl so, you know the high cheekbones and slender hair not no just round head I'm not into that What up, what up, world? Mr. Bad Carabino, I'm back. And I ain't went nowhere. Let's go. Broadcasting live. From Dog Pound, California. I'm about to roll to Pomona. You smell the potent ass aroma. Let me call my little nigga Greedy and get some weed. Call Sugar Free and Pimpin' Young. Let them know I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm about to throw on my Romeo 501s and my Pico Spray a little bit of soul glow in my afro Told my little bitch, go warm up the Lizzo Do your hair and makeup, ho, let's kizzo I got a little pippin' that I gotta go attend to Bitch, you know I keep a little money on the menu Exit on town off the 10 in Pomona I gotta get some lunch, you know young be smoking. Free on his way, where the fuck we's a look at? Call cocaine, boy, and I don't even smoke that I don't know if you should sing songs or have a dope set Damn, sniff this in your ear, get a whiff of this Smell 